Hey guys, so pretty awesome. We have an unboxing here of the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. Now the box itself is pretty nice. So this part of the Z right here is etched in. Now the design of this is pretty similar to the Razer, but of course this has much better specs with it. Again, pretty nice you have Flip. So we have a welcome page. The Z Flip, which we'll take a look in a few. Premier service. So you got a uh, 24 hour service and one year of screen replacement. A fast charger. A USB type C to USB. Some AKG headphones. So this, uh, these are Type C headphones. And based on past experience, I think they should be pretty good. All right, and what just fell is the headphone adapter, or rather earbuds. And last, you have the USB Type C cable. All right, guys. So now for the phone. Okay, so pretty good unboxing experience. Now on the front here, we have a bunch of instructions just to make sure you don't break it. And it's gonna do this very carefully. Okay, so first thoughts, pretty nice design. Now I don't know if this is as nice as the Moto's design, but we'll take a closer look at that in a sec. So let's go power it on. All right guys, so I'll be back in a few. Let me help you get set up more easily by guiding me through this. All right guys, so I just found out I missed something that's very easy to miss. So right here at the top, uh, we have this pamphlet. And within it, we have the SIM card ejector. And we also have a free case of it. And also some instructions. All right, so let me just put this on real quick. All right, so we have the back. And also the front. So yeah, it goes on pretty easily. Oh, and also the power button is also a fingerprint. So still works pretty good with the case on. Okay, so my first thoughts, I really like the look and the feel of the phone. Now I will say, I am more nostalgic about the Razer. Also the Razer does beat it in some of the categories. So for example, the front display right here is much larger. Now that said, the Razer is better in most of the categories, most of the specs. 
So let's go over this real quick. Now on the front here, the screen is only 1.1 inches. It doesn't give you much information, but of course on the inside, we have a pretty nice display here. So it's 6.7 inches and AMOLED with a pretty decent PPI. The crease in the middle here is pretty noticeable and it definitely feels like plastic rather than glass, but maybe not quite as much as the fold. Now on the front here, the camera is 10 MP, but you can also fold it and use the rear camera as a front camera. But obviously the uh, window here is extremely small. On the back here, you have two cameras, both 12 MP. And the second one is wide angle. Now the internals on this are pretty impressive. Definitely much better than what the Razer offers. So we have the latest Snapdragon 855 Plus and also 8 gigabytes of RAM. We also have 256 gigabytes internal storage, but no micro SD card support. A 3300 capacity battery. The phone also has USB Type C and wireless charging, but no headphone jack and no waterproofing. Finally, the phone is extremely expensive at nearly $1,400. let us also test out the speakers. Hi, no copyright. Yeah, so not the best, but pretty solid. Now, just going back to the Razer. So the Samsung does a better specs overall here. And let me just bring up Chrome on each. So right here, guys, you see we have Nostalgia versus a better screen. My next video is gonna be a full test between these. So for now, let's do some more comparisons. Let me try it again. Let me try to close them at the same time. Now next we have the Fold. So the Fold of course has a much larger screen, both on the outside and also on the inside. Yeah, so very different design philosophies here. Uh, for the Fold, it's really a phone size into a tablet. And then for the Flip, it's a phone into half a phone. I will be doing a full comparison between these two as well, but I do prefer the design for the Flip. Now for a few non-foldables. So we have the OnePlus 70 Pro 5G McLaren, the Sony Xperia 1, the iPhone 11 PM, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G, the Z Flip, and also the foldables, so the Razer, and if we have room here, probably not. <laughs> The Galaxy Fold, we'll just put it right here. And now let's fold them. All right guys, so if you want to spend 1400 bucks on the flip, then this right here is the reason for it. Obviously a really awesome design, which is uh, half the size of most of the other phones here. As for my thoughts, I'll be doing a lot of testing over the next couple weeks. 
So yeah, guys, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. And definitely check out my comparison between the Moto and the iPhone 11.